So according to your public filings, Mr. Corbett, Mr. Scharf, uh, your two institutions have the greatest exposure uh, to the UK um, of any institution on the panel. So let's, let me ask you this question. Uh, do you have contingency plans for a no-deal Brexit on Friday? Since Article 50 was filed, we have prepared uh, with a mindset and an eye towards a, a hard exit. So yes, we have plans in place. We also have been planning for a hard Brexit. Okay. So in light of that, uh, what, are the, what are the nature of your plans, Mr. Corbett? We have uh, relocated our bank out of the UK uh, to Ireland, which passports and so is fully compliant with EU banking. We've moved our broker dealer or a portion of our broker dealer from the UK to Germany to Frankfurt and is licensed and is operational. And we've moved the necessary people, front office, middle office and back office to support those. And has this taken a portion of your time over the last three years for this contingency planning? It certainly has. Okay. And it's an important issue for you? It is. Okay. Mr. Scharf. Uh, we've, uh, we have a bank that's headquartered um, uh, in Belgium, and we've moved a series of the activities uh, of the company uh, from the UK to Belgium. We also have uh, built up um, control functions and moved individuals onto the continent uh, and away from the United Kingdom. Uh, probably most importantly, worked very closely with our clients um, on moving their transactions into different entities and all of the required paperwork that goes along with that. Okay, and uh, so let me segue to China, another issue of systemic risk uh, uh, per the Federal Reserve, uh, latest uh, disclosure of their meeting minutes. Um, along those lines, uh, Mr. Solomon, your institution uh, recently uh, uh, divested or sold off uh, your investment in uh, the Commercial Bank of China. Uh, previously, Mr. Moynihan, uh, Bank of America had uh, investments uh, along the same lines in China, I believe uh, prior to your ascent uh, to CEO and chairman of your organization. Uh, so in light of that, Mr. Solomon, is this an eye towards uh, the, the, the challenges of the Chinese economy? Or was this about simplifying your business? Was this about uh, systemic risk or the regulation of Chinese banks and the intervention of Chinese banks? We, we had made that investment uh, years ago at the time that bank was going public in the international markets. I'm in partnership with them. Uh, it was a financial investment, and there came a point in time when the financial investment had seasoned, and so we sold that it wasn't related to the broader issues of the economic relationship between the U.S. and China. All right. Thank you all for your testimony. I think systemic risk is an important discussion and topic today, as well as overall regulation.